Hey guys, this is Tina. Welcome to A Homemaker's Journey. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Today I am going to be making air fryer chicken wings. And I wanted to bring you guys along, let you see how easy it is to do this. And it's a great uh, recipe to just make for a quick family meal. If you guys like wings like our family does, and the air fryer just does a great job, job at crisping up that chicken without using extra oil and it just comes out fantastic. So today I wanna to show you how I um, cut up my wings and I just, uh, I take the, the tips and I remove them completely, cut these in half, cut that off, throw it in the trash, and then we uh, I puncture some holes. So let's get started so I can show you the whole thing. All right, so I have my bowl of wings here. So what I do when I'm cutting up my wings is I'll take cut my right through there. I'm actually gonna disconnect that drumette, this part, and I cut a little, a few holes in there. So I just take my knife and I cut it close to the bone and that helps to cook the wings a lot faster. And you just be careful. Um, you don't definitely don't wanna cut yourself. So I just take this one and I disconnect that tip. So you wanna definitely use a very sharp knife. Whoops make rest this off. A sharp knife and then we'll do the same thing for the tip. I just put a slice through. I actually just go through if you can see that through there and it just helps it to cook quicker. And today I'm going to be um, seasoning it with this Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Ranch seasoning blend. And so what I'm going to do now that I've shown you how to uh, to disconnect these, cut these, poke your holes in so that you can cook them quicker. And I usually cook my chicken wings in my air fryer for 25 minutes and then I flip them and I cook them for about another 20 minutes until they're nice and crispy and golden. And if you wanna use a different seasoning, you can use whatever you like. If you like it with garlic powder and onion powder, a little bit of salt and pepper that tastes great uh, as well so I'm going to get through these cutting these up because I don't need, think you need to watch all that and once I'm finished I'll show you them all on my pan so uh, after I cut them all up I'll pat them dry before I put the seasoning on and so once I get to this stage once everything's cut I'll come back and I'll show you guys what to do next all right see you in a moment All right, <clears throat> so here's our wings, all chopped up and disconnected. Oh, there's a wing tip in there. So now what I'm gonna do is sprinkle that buffalo ranch seasoning blend. I'm gonna do that on half of these, and I'm actually gonna do uh, garlic, salt, and pepper on the others. And we'll do it on both sides, season both sides. Okay. I have two air fryers. I have a Power XL that is a seven quart and it's the basket type. Let me show you. It's this basket. So I will be putting those, the seasoned ones in here. And then I also have a Power XL that is the tray type that you put the little trays in. Let me show you. Put these little trays in. So I will be cooking the other half in that. So let me see. I'm actually going to put these in my air fryer and then I'm going to season them. Let's see. Let's see if that works. All right. So I'll do that. A little bit of seasoning so it's nicely coated. I'll do the next one. Put that in there. See how easy this is, you guys? All you have to do is. Just cut the, make sure you have a really sharp knife. So when you cut through those joints, it's easy. And what you can also do when you have these two pieces connected, even if you bend them in half, it'll pop the joint and then it's easier to cut the skin and separate them. But just remember to always pierce the chicken uh, to the bone with your knife. Okay. 
All right. So you can season it however you like, whatever your favorite flavorings are. Maybe it's Italian, who knows? Whatever you prefer, you make it your own. And then, like I said, you cook the first side for about 25 minutes. I do it on four, at 400 degrees for my wings. I think that the higher the temperature, it makes the, um, the inside just stay really moist while it gets that skin really crispy. It's amazing how many of these wings you can fit inside of this air fryer too. You'll be, it's amazing. And they will all crisp up nicely. My kids and my husband love this as well as I do. And wings are fairly cheap. All right, I think that's about it for the sides. All right, so now let me show you. <clears throat> so let's see how many have went in there. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen little wings in there. Now we're going to get that started, and I will get pop them in the air fryer, get that going. Like I said, at four hundred degrees. And I will do it for 25 minutes. And I will show that to you on my air fryer. Here it is right here. So we've got it at 400. And you'll see in a minute. It's for 25 minutes. All right. So I'm going to season up this next section. And uh, I don't need to show you that because, like I said, it's just going to be salt and pepper and a little bit of garlic powder and probably some onion powder and we'll pop that in the other air fryer and uh, I'll show you once everything's all finished and I'll give you the exact time how long I cook them for. All right, see you in a sec. Hey guys, here is my um, other air fryer. I wanted you guys to see that I have that set at 400. I actually set this one for 30 minutes because it seems to take a little bit longer than the other, the basket one. And let me show you the shelves that are in it. So, I'll open it up real quick. So I've got the wings in there. And I just have two layers. It comes with three racks, but I just use two just so the airflow is better. All right, so we'll let you see everything when we, um, when we come back. And remember, I season these with garlic powder, a little bit of salt and pepper. And I'll add it in paprika too to give it a nice coloring. All right. All right, guys, our buffalo wings are done in the air fryer. They came out perfectly crispy and ready to eat. 25 minutes at 400 degrees. So just make sure you cut them into separate pieces. And remember to put the holes through the, the chicken so that it cooks much quicker. And this is, like I said, the Buffalo Ranch seasoning. And I will show you the garlic, salt, and pepper with the paprika once those are finished. And like I said, that one takes a little bit longer. So I put it on there for 30 minutes. So they should be about done right now by the time I get these out. So let's go check that one, see how they're doing. Okay, so here are the Power XL, the 10 quart with the racks. So they're not as crispy yet, but they're getting there. And I didn't expect them to be. And it's only been, I think I have eight, have, yeah, I have eight more minutes on this one. But So by the time the 30 minutes is up, it might be perfect. All right, so let me see this one so I can flip that those wings. But they look, you can see the top rack cooks quicker than that lower rack. It's closer to the heating element, which I think is why the basket works like it does as quick as it does, because it's much closer to the heating element. And it's totally sealed as well. But these look really good, so they're very close to being done. So by the time that eight minutes is up, I think we're going to have perfect wings. And I made some fried rice to go along with these wings. And I will post that recipe as well on 
the website. All right, we'll come back in eight minutes. And there we go. All right, so here we have our buffalo ranch chicken wings and our garlic, salt, pepper, and paprika chicken wings. This one was cooked in the basket air fryer. This one was cooked with the shelves. And they look both fantastic. This one, I believe, has a little bit of brown sugar in it, so that's why you have the golden or the browned a little bit more. But look at how fabulous they look. They look so good. I can't wait to eat them. All right, you guys, give these a try and give me a shout. Let me know what you think. And subscribe if, you, if you're new to my channel. And give me a thumbs up and share. And hit that bell notification just in case you want to get extra videos. God bless you guys. All right, here's the final product. That's our air fryer chicken wings. They look so good. They're moist. And the fried rice is delicious too. And like I said, I'll post that recipe separately so you can see that how quick it is. And that's with instant rice that I made that fried rice with. All right. You guys give this a try and let me know what you think. Have a wonderful day. God bless.